It's time for a new FIFA Myths. If you guys want to see more Team of the Season Myths, do smash the like button down below. Will the World Cup mode have its own transfer market? Only Ronaldo can do the Ronaldo celebration. As we all know, Ronaldo has one of the most famous celebrations in football when he shouts C, when he scores a goal, and I even thought he was the only player until recently when actually there are more players in the game who can do the Ronaldo celebration. For example, Adam Armstrong there from Blackburn can do it, and this guy called Pierre, this bronze centre back, was with not a bad card for a bronze player, actually. Very, uh, actually, that's a really good card. And he can do it as well as a centre back. Very, very bizarre one. But yeah, as you can see from this gameplay, Armstrong scored the goal there, guys, in kickoff. And press A to do the default celebration, and the Ronaldo celebration is done. Akin Fenwit is the first player in FIFA history with two different Team of the Season cards. Yes, this has never been seen in Ultimate Team history, actually, guys. He is the only player ever to have two different Team of the Season cards with his bronze, 64 rated special Team of the Season card, which you can unlock in weekly objectives, and then his other 79 rated gold Team of the Season card. Very, very different. Uh, myth right here, but yeah, it's true. The World Cup mode will have a transfer market. I think a lot of people assume that there would be a transfer market, but guys, we don't really need one. In FIFA 14, we didn't have one, and it is confirmed, as you can see here, by my man Corey, who is on Twitter, by the way, well worth a follow. It is confirmed that, that there will be no transfer market in the World Cup mode, but as I said before, guys, we don't really necessarily need one. I think it's okay without it. In FIFA 14, it worked perfectly, and also, if you open a pack in the World Cup mode, I think in the new version of the World Cup mode, then you get the same equivalent pack in FIFA 18 Autumn Team. So it's kind of cool. Very um, cool that EA doing that. It's going to be so big, this World Cup mode. FIFA points are shareable on the World Cup mode. Again, Corey confirmed here. It's a very quick update, this one. Thief coins and foot points are shareable between foot 18 and World Cup 18. He just confirmed with the teams. Yeah, no, uh, no pitchforks needed. 91 Vieira has more stats than team of the season Fabinho. This is actually a FIFA myth. As you can see right here, guys, it's a big reason why I love comparing players. 91 icon Vieira has less stats overall than the new Fabinho card. And plus, he's a lot more expensive. So yeah, definitely go for the team of the season option here, guys. Fabinho has more stats overall. You can't pack an icon, team of the season, man of the match, and an inform in one pack. Yes, you actually can get an icon, team of the season, man of the match, and an inform in the same pack. That has to be one of the rarest packs I've ever seen. Honestly, that's such a rare FIFA pack. Jürgen Schelvik from LA Galaxy is the only centre-back with over 90 pace. Jürgen Schel Schel Schelvik? 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 Yeah. Schelvik is the fastest centre-back in the whole game and only 900 coins. You can get him for a very cheap price. However, a lot of you may have assumed he was the fastest centre-back. However, thanks to inform Kyle Walker happening in a few we I think a few weeks ago, he is now the joint fastest centre-back in the game. So it is a myth. He is not the fastest centre-back in the game. He is the joint fastest centre-back. And shout out to my man Marvel Wynn, by the way, who has announced his retirement. Best wishes to him as well. Uh, he is also a very fast centre-back with 90 pace in FIFA 18. So there were the new FIFA myths. Comment down below for a chance to be in the next video. I absolutely love doing this series. If you want to see another one this week, do leave a like. And what FIFA myths are there in FIFA?